This video is split into four parts. Section A, how to apply the cannula. Section B, checking to ensure the cannula is fitted correctly. Section C, how to remove and adjust the cannula. And section D, how to remove and replace a wiggle pad. Before applying your OptiFlow Junior cannula, set up the gas source according to the system instructions. The OptiFlow Junior cannula is retained to the infant's face using the easy to apply and adjust wiggle pads. There are four sizes in the OptiFlow Junior range. The wiggle pad cannula retention pads are also supplied as a spare product for both the regular and premature sizes. For cannula size selection, the weight chart can be used as a reference. However, the infant's nearest size should be the primary consideration. In this case, the infant fits a premature size cannula. Before application of the cannula, follow your hospital protocol for skin preparation. Here we are simply drying the skin. However, some infants with particularly sweaty or damp skin may require additional preparation. The premature size cannula selected can now be removed from the packaging. Connect to the Fisher & Paykel Healthcare circuit Check the connection by feeling the air flow through the prongs. The circuit can be secured to the bedding using the tubing clip. Being careful not to touch the exposed adhesive, remove the first backing tab from the wiggle pads. To initially place the cannula, hold horizontally across the face and apply slight tension. Fit prongs high into the nose such that the cannula bridge rests just below the septum. Stick down the wiggle pads, then peel away the second backing tab whilst securing the remaining section of the wiggle pads to the cheek. Repeat on the other side. To position the tubing, the slider can be used. However, do not excessively tighten against the head. After the cannula is applied or adjusted, perform the following checks. To allow for expiratory airflow, Ensure there is a clear space around the nares. If the prongs are too big, change to a smaller size cannula. To check the security of the prongs in the nares, simulate the infant's facial movement by gently squishing their cheeks. If the prongs flick out of the nose, reposition the cannula on the wiggle pads, as shown in the next chapter. Check that the cannula is not applying pressure to the baby's sensitive septum. If there is not a slight gap between the cannula and septum, reposition as shown in the next chapter. Ensure that the infant is not lying on the tubing and that the flow path is maintained. To summarize, remember the four checks after placing your OptiFlow Junior cannula. Size the prongs and check for space. Cheeky check the prongs position. Check the sensitive septum and tidy the tubing. Always readjust the cannula if required. In some situations, the cannula may need to be readjusted on the face. In this case, the prongs have flicked out of the infant's nose whilst lying prone. Before readjustment, Place the infant in the supine position. To prevent excessive pulling on the skin, place a finger on the wiggle pad and gently peel away the cannula. Reposition the cannula into the nares with slight tension and reattach on both the wiggle pads. Perform the four checks as described in the previous chapter. For the purposes of cares or suctioning, therapy to the infant can be maintained through a single prong if the cannula is bent as shown. The OptiFlow Junior cannula and wiggle pad have a recommended single usage of seven days. In some cases, a single wiggle pad may need to be replaced independently of the cannula. Ensure that the correct spare size is chosen. When removing a wiggle pad, use a wet cloth or adhesive remover and wipe along its adhesive underside while gently peeling away. Once removed, detach the wiggle pad from the cannula. If replacing a wiggle pad, Attach the spare by aligning the hook and loop sections. Remove the first backing tab and while securing the prongs in position, stick down onto the cheeks. 
Peel away the second tab while sticking the remainder of the wiggle pad in place. Perform the checks and readjust the cannula if required. Mm -hmm.